to all of my entrepreneurs watching, to all the people that aspire to be business owners, tech is the best stepping stone for you to be able to start your business yes. because you can get remote work, you can get high income to qualify for loans, and you can get all the free time that you need to build your entrepreneurial journey or your business venture on the side. You can be working an hour, two, three hours a day, making six figures, where you can take your work meetings, you can go on, you can go and meet clients, you can go and tour buildings, you can do everything you need to do remotely. Yeah. And then you have that guaranteed income, you have those health benefits, you have that unlimited PTO, you have everything you need to Come build your business. On. Yeah, man, all, all of those factors. I know um, there, there's a list of uh, young artists uh, that I know, and they're, they're doing really well, but of course they're not making any real kind of money. And many of them, you know, it's not just them, it's, it's something in the culture today where people are so afraid of a nine to five, where it's like nine to fives are talked down on. And I understand, like, obviously no one should should, should sell their soul to a job that's only paying them forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year, you know, especially as you start to get a little bit older and, okay, now your, your time and now your goals should start becoming bigger and growing. And so, like, what would you say to someone, and you, you kind of touched on some of this just a moment ago, but what would you say to someone that's like, they're kind of stuck in between? They're like, man, well, I'm trying to not work a job. I'm trying to grow this business, but this business isn't making any money yet. For me to truly live off of or i'm trying to live off of it but now i'm eating off the business so i'm not able to reinvest money back into the business so i'm in this weird stagnant place like what suggestions would you have for someone like that so there's two suggestions i would have the first one is to take you up on your offer and go do the tech boot camp mm -hmm. within i don't know how, how long is the boot camp well it depends on which one it is but but most of them that, that i generally talk about or that i, I partner with are somewhere between a month to three months so in a month to three months you could finish the tech boot camp Find a job reasonably, so three to four months investment in your time could guarantee you the income that you need to support yourself while trying to build your business. And like Cyrus said, and like I said, you don't need to be a, a very like computer literate person necessarily to be in tech. If you're not that person, but you're extrovert and you can speak, you just need to know a high level of what technologies are and you can speak to them and you can that could kind of be your job. That could be your passport to help build your business, give you the free time and give you that income so you're not stressed about your business not making money yet. Yeah. You'll get a remote job where you can work from home, you can continue to build your business and you know you're, you're gonna be living off of the tech income. It'll kind of give you that peace of mind. And the second thing that I'd wanna mention for advice for people is, if you're a person that's already in the entrepreneurial space, I feel like you'll succeed the most in sales, whether that's pre-sales engineering, that's more of a higher barrier of entry, mm -hmm. or you could go straight into tech sales. You'll have yeah. a lower um, base salary and a lower OTR, which is on target, um, OT, OTE, OTE yeah, yeah, yeah. on target earnings. But if you put in more effort and you, know, you master cold calling, you can dictate how much money you make. You can make more for yourself. Right. So it's gonna give you that entrepreneurial feel, but still with the security of a job and you'll still be working remotely.